Stanford University. In 1973, the Board of Trustees officially created the preserve. But the lands that constitute Jasper Ridge have been a part of the university in terms of research and education since the founding of the institution. The preserve is 1,189 acres, almost a seventh of the entire Stanford land holdings. Oh, yes. There are roughly 70 research projects going on. The School of Humanities and Sciences, School of Earth Sciences, School of Engineering, and School of Medicine are all represented right now. For more than 20 years, my research group has used Jasper Ridge as a really unique environment for testing what happens when ecosystems encounter realistic global changes. If you think about where the big breakthroughs in the life sciences have come. Very many of them have come from studying model systems. These are simple systems that are easy to do research on, but have all the features of the world. And one of the great things about Jasper Ridge is that we're now understanding enough that we can begin to use it as a model system. It's easy to do experiments on. We can do lots of different experiments. We can build on a big knowledge base. It is truly developing as a model ecosystem. The biodiversity here is really quite remarkable. This is part of a group of ecosystems called Mediterranean type ecosystems. Uh, they're one of the most endangered types of ecosystems on the planet. They're incredibly important habitats. In a half hour walk, you can move from redwood forests through wonderful blue oak woodland into grassland and chaparral. And just this rapid succession of ecosystems is like a a, a bouquet of the richness of the planet Earth. It's, it's truly amazing to go from place to place. What's in some ways most special about a place like Jasper Ridge is that you continually discover new places no matter how long you've been here. And so there are some views and some vistas here that are iconic for all of us. And then there are places where your eyes still open in wonder after many years. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.